For students at St. Edwards, the installation of high-speed Google Fiber cannot come any sooner. Despite its growth in digital media in recent years, the school had its internet service come to a standstill Monday evening. The blackout spanned the west side of campus, crippling students' ability to study and submit assignments. Student organizations were also hit, as the school newspaper, Hilltop Views, could not produce their latest print edition. So without the internet, for the first time in probably six years, we didn't have a print edition for Hilltop Views. So I had to make the hard decision, are we going to have one and have everybody stay late? or have everybody go home and just not have a print edition. I decided, I didn't know when the internet was gonna come back on, we'd just send everybody home and we would just run an online edition. While Sanchez was not personally affected by the outage, many students were. With a high number of underclassmen living on campus, residents who were dependent on the school internet were unable to complete assignments on time. I was working on my business communications paper on Monday, which was due that night. Uh, I really needed the internet to be working uh, however, I did do my research before that, which was needed for the paper. However, a lot of my fellow classmates did not, and they procrastinated. Fortunately for Chacon's classmates, the professor extended the deadline. But with many students wanting answers, the university claims it was not directly responsible. According to IT analyst Abel Salazar, the school lost bandwidth from their Time Warner provider line, which enters campus on the west side. However, Salazar reports that Time Warner has since resolved the issue and taken measures to prevent any future blackouts. At St. Edwards, Reagan Rail, KXAN.